Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 33 of Direwolf20 and Pahimar's Material Energy Hypercube series. What's up, Pahimar? I'm eating berries. I'm making sugar. We're just a sweet bunch now, aren't we? Yeah. My sugarcane farm is bordering on the ridiculousness. Let's see how fast it's going up. Okay. Yeah, so you got that pumping directly into a quest delivery system, don't you? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Uh, if you come down to the basement, you can see the, the system. I mean, I think my viewers probably saw it last episode, but I don't know if you did. Yeah, I remember that we had to actually... Oh, do we do we have it hooked up to the AE system again? Yes. it's. I routed the dense cable into the ME controller so that it would be a little bit more stable and not impact our bandwidth and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, so... if I was doing this in a slightly smarter way, I could just have this go directly in instead of going into the AE system. I'd have its own subnetwork, but I mean, it's working as it is, so there's no reason not to do it this way. Yeah, so I don't know if we... Did we actually cover that in the video last time? I think so. Oh, by the way, we, we have uh, 10,000 enderpearls. Woot. Yeah, so enderpearls is complete. Um, we just I'm going to, to need to... What's that? We just need to hand it in. Uh, yeah, but we can do that later. Um, I want to, I'm going to use the same system that I'm using for the sugarcane. So once sugarcane's done, then we'll just hand in enderpearls. And then I think next episode we said we'd do more automation stuff. But this episode we're supposed to explore this place. Yeah, we could do that. We could. Community spatial IO area. This was which one? Uh, uh memories. Okay, cool. So I noticed there's no way unless you fly or build out a path to get to this little island that's been built here. Well, there is well, there a is. little um, thing you can fly out onto. What do you mean? Hold on. Okay. I did that for later. Um, so let's see. If we come out here, just fly out. Right. See where the waterfall is? Well, yeah. Is? I mean, what I'm saying is you can't do anything that's not flight related. I noticed down here. Why am I suddenly seeing just a ton of white? Oh, I see a chest, though. I'm going to go to it. I can't see through the water. Is it your helm? I don't think so. All right, there was a book and a block of enderim. Yeah, like, water for me is, like, crazy... Oh, you know what it is? It has something to do with respiration. Ah. You want me to read the so for some the reason respiration time? 10 makes my water like super white looking it's very weird so i was in the chest i'm sorry i was distracted a by block the fact of that... enderim and okay. a book called end and it says i woke up one day alone her side of the bed was cold i felt a cold chill run through me when i realized what must have happened everyone helped search but she was gone i remember hoping that one day i would hear a knock on our door and see her face but it was always just a hope. That was sad. Yeah, really. All right, let's look for loot. Yeah. Uh, a love block. And a division sig sigil, gold, and another book. Cool. Let's see what's in this book. Matrimony. I feel like this one's supposed to tell a story. I agree. That day was one of the scariest moments of my life. I know what she was going to say, but the thought of a possible no ate away at my soul. Looking back on it now, I should have just relaxed. I practically gave away the surprise before we even got to the grotto. So I guess he um, proposed in here. Wow. Yes, yeah, so now we follow the winding stair where there's zombies. I'm just taking out lots of enemies. You read the story, I'll shoot enemies with a bow. There's lots of enemies. Oh, a wooden path. A stone path, I should say. And uh, another book. Lots of enemies. I think it's time to bring out my sight. Alright, the next book is called Memories. It's all coming back to me. That's all that's in it. Well, he should probably like clarify what's coming back to him. 
Yeah, so now I'm in the lighthouse. I'm shooting lots of bad guys. And there's nothing in here that I can see. Okay. All right, so let's come out of here. All right. All see, right. If, the, if I were this guy, I would have um, installed some lights. I can't imagine things ended well for him. Maybe this is why he ended up alone. Yeah. He's like, hey, honey, why don't you come live with me in this dark area where I don't like lights and there's going to be lots of creepers and skeletons and zombies. And she was like, hmm, that's a lovely offer, but... All right, this next book is called Memories. When she first told me, I was pained but not surprised. When the topic arose, she quickly would change the subject. She was stricken by a pain that I would never fully understand. It was probably the, the pain of a lot of creeper explosions. Probably arrows in, like, her, her body. Yeah, on account those of are not skeletons. a good time. Pro tip, gents, if you are looking to attract a lady, make sure you don't have zombies, skeletons, spiders, or creepers. Uh, yeah, most of those things are not something... They're not conducive to romance. Living with. Yeah, no. All right, let's go in the house here. Ooh, cool carpeting. And an Enderman. That's a great sign. Another book. Yeah, Endermen are the exact opposite of romance. This book is called Cooking. All right, I think the outside is relatively well lit. I love to bake. It was a simpler life. A life where it was easier to appreciate the little things. Though occasionally, spelt wrong, I did go a bit overboard with the little with the little things. Occasionally it doesn't have a T in it. I like how Potmar is like spell checking the storyline. Did you get that one? Yeah. I okay. would never grow tired of the warmth. It was the comforting feeling that made this house my home. Alright, let's see what's upstairs. I do agree that the carpet is nice. Hmm. Have we, have we checked out that lighthouse yet? I did. There was nothing in it from the ground level. Who knows what was up top? A bed, oh, though. Okay. That's bed, nice. So you did not go up top? I did not go up top. Alright, let's go in there. Oh, here we go. Are you in there already? I was waiting for you to show up. No, there's uh, there's something under this um, Microsoft carpet. Oh. This book is called The Cliffside. I was never alone on that cliffside. I had the moon, the stars, and eventually I had her. I once told you. I was once told you never forget your first kiss. I would have much preferred if that book was called The Cliff Notes and told us like the Cliff Notes version of this story. Why? So you could just <laughs> cheat on the test? Yeah. All right, looks. Oh, there's a book. Oh, is there a book in there? Okay, cool. The lighthouse. We would yeah, sneak up to the top of the old lighthouse and just enjoy the time talking. We always had something to talk about here, like why we're on top of a lighthouse. The world just felt world infinite is. from the top, though we never did see the opposite shore. That would be because it goes into an observatory. Yeah, it's literally a 58 by 58 by 58 meter. Like, you, it's not that big. He's lying. Oh, there's another book. Okay, you already got this chest. This book is called The Middle. This pain eventually grew into a crippling burden, which is also spelled wrong. We would stay awake nights and I would stroke her hair while she wept. We would retell memories of past moments together. We always knew what would happen in the stories, but it was comforting thinking of a happier world. She never did want to talk about what we would do, only what we would do. What? I don't know. He's not being very descriptive. I agree. Still a better love story than Twilight. All right, that's not really the kind of bar that you want to set anything to, to be fair. Hey, everyone has a bottom. Um, no comment. 
So I'm finding little elves in here. Yeah, there. There appears to be nothing else in here. I'm not seeing anything else. This age or spatial IO dimension or dungeon or whatever you wanted to call it is entirely about a melodramatic story. Yes. Okay. Which well, was nice. I mean, it was a nicely constructed area. It was. It it had. It had a better story than like thousands of direwolves trying to eat us. That's true. And it did have some loot. And while we were in there, we got some sugar. Have we... Just passed? a little bit. We got about 150,000. In the time we were in there? Pretty much. I mean, I, I didn't look at the exact numbers, but it's probably somewhere around there. Well, I know before we left, we had about a quarter million. Cool. So what do we have now? Uh, we have now almost 400,000. I believe. Uh, so do you want to do the next one? You said you got two last time, right? I did. Cool. But hold on, I want to do something. All right, while you're doing that, I'm just going to research the black stained glass. I need... A million black stained glass? That does not sound ideal. So one ink gets me eight of these. I need 125,000 black ink. That does not sound like fun. Because so far I've got 500. Where can uh, we get black ink from? I have a thing that's crafting it, but for some reason it's not behaving in such a way that I would like it to. Um, I have something of an auto crafting system going, but it's like I said, just not behaving. Let's come back after a minute, and I want to figure out why this auto crafting isn't working because I definitely need to fix it, and then we'll be back. Sounds like something we could do. Okay. Hey Dyer, I um, I just finished handing in all the ender pearls. Oh. And you're not gonna like this. Uh oh. There's a second half. What? We have to kill 1,000 Endermen. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No. We don't. Yeah, we do. Like, you can say, yeah, we do all you want. I'm telling you we're not doing it. I mean, you can do it, but I'm not doing it. I don't think we're going to do it. We're not going to have to, like, kill a sugar monster, are we? I hope not. I mean, how are we doing on that share request? It's been a few minutes here. I've been working on a little bit of automation, but we're at 58%. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it was Steve's factory manager or something derped up with the chemical synthesizers, but something got very wonky and I had to break and replace them in order for their eye-sidedness to start working again. So, and I got everything working with Ender.io and because it was so weird and a little bit buggy, I decided to like... All right, I'm not even going to bother like doing it with Steve's factory manager still. So Ender.io is pulling items out of the bottom of this synthesizer and putting them in the top of this one. So this is the insert conduit. And then pulling out of the bottom of this and into the chest. So you can see we're producing lots of black ink, which is kind of the goal. Um, and then I'm just going to do an import bus into the AE system for the black ink. So I loaded the amusement park. Oh. Do you want to have a look? Uh, in one minute. Let me just import bus this, and then I'll be happy to take a look. Let me just see where I can import bus this at. One thing I'm very used to having is... Um, oh, there we go. That'll work. 
is like bat mode or some other morph that lets me into a small area. And that is less easy to do now. Well, if you wanted to trade with villagers, here's your place. Oh? They're everywhere in here. Oh, really? So I'm just lighting up the area because it's very dark and lots of monsters. That's cool. I support your decision to do that. Uh, I'm coming to see it right now. I just got the import, so if we look at ink... Good, we're up to 2,300. I need 125,000 ink, from what I can tell. This better not be a 16-part quest where I need all 16 colors, or I am going to lose my mind in rage and anger. Uh, look at this, this, this. I was testing all forms of item transfer, and like everything was broken. And then breaking and replacing the thing worked. So I don't understand why that worked, but it did. Let's explore. What are we looking at? Amusement park. Oh, cool. But there's bad guys. That's less than amusing. Unless you're the bad guys. Well, I hope it's not an amusement park for them. Who built an amusement park for skeletons and zombies? Parcel? Actually, no, this isn't Parcel who made this. Exactly. Uh, yes, I am assisting you in lighting the area up, and then we can explore what is apparently... Oh, and there's baby zombies. My, my second least favorite monster in this map, or game, or what have you. I keep accidentally shooting villagers, I'm sorry. Don't shoot villagers. I'm out of wireless range. Oh, that's a neat looking Ferris wheel, though. Okay, these spawners are villagers, so leave the spawners alone. Oh, that's neat. What's that? That the spawners are villagers. And I will quickly get working on lighting the area up once again, now that I've got torches. Yeah, the key here is obviously having lots of torches. So shooting villagers is not that much of a problem because there's a spawner for them. Presumably. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if one villager here is like king villager. I don't think there's such a thing as a king villager, is there? Well, there's Elvis and he's the king. That's true. All right, so is this place rather well lit at this point? Um, more or less. I mean, you miss some spots on the um, roller coaster, but... Yeah, they're hard to see sometimes. I like how the creepers are, like, not at all interested in blowing up the villagers. They're just hanging out with them. Yeah, it's only the zombies who are, like, actually interested. Yeah, I'm doing my best to save villagers and villager kind. All right, what's underground? Uh, oh, there's an underground? Yeah, closed due to cave-in. Oh, there's a book. Oh, neat. Yeah, there are villager spawners. That's cool. Nothing in the book. Restricted staff only. Let's go in there. Okay, there's a... Okay. There was a chest up here. I don't know if you saw that. It has Traveler's Boots, Traveler's Belt, and Traveler's Gloves. Uh, I guess I'll take one of them. Let's see. I, can't read it. I don't even know where you are. Seriously, are you sure you're... Oh, there's so many villagers. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta kill you. I can't read the signs. <laughs> Seriously, are Spot you Mars actually killing sad? villagers? Because I th kind of think you're lying. You wouldn't lie to me, though, would you? Yes. Well, okay, there's nothing down this path anyways, though. Stairs going down. I want to join you. Where are you? Stop. I'm Stop in, like, like that subway area. Subway area. 
you know, the gray cobblestone structure when, you, like, you first drop down? Uh, like, it goes into a subway kind of thing. Oh, I think I see it. Stop. Seriously, you're going to give up. You're not going to give up. Fine, go in here. Have a cookie. Grats, mate, you didn't follow the rules. Yay. I found clothes due to cave-in. I found villagers. I found a quadruple compressed cookie. Ooh. That does not help us in our quest for 50 octuple compressed cookies, by the way. It does. It just doesn't make a huge difference. I, I would even wager to say it does not help at all. You're just not a very kind person today. Well, we have to make 50 octuple compressed cookies. I think that would make anyone cross. What if in this room worth a secondary prize, there was three stacks of matter balls? Eh. I mean, matter balls are basically cobblestone. And there's nothing in the grand prize. Oh, I see what was supposed to happen. All these creatures what? were supposed to be inside of these minecarts. Oh, really? And instead they're not? Yeah, instead they got all um, buggered up. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So I shot the minecart by mistake. Yeah, they were supposed to be moving targets. I gotcha. I'm going to take the minecart because there's that roller coaster. I want to ride a roller coaster. <laughs> so is that pretty much all there is to this area too? I guess, but I'm going to ride the roller coaster. I don't know about you. I'm going to go see how my ink production is going. We. Oh, I'm doing this. Backwards. I've got 4,000 ink thus far. Oh, it's I want to see what a Torturino will do to this thing. Name. Oh, there's a chest here. You already got it. Well, this would have been cool if the thing you didn't get all broken. All right. And let's see the Ferris wheel. Is there anything cool in the Ferris wheel? Chest at the top with snowballs, slime balls, mossy balls, and ball of glue. All right, so there was that. Cool. So that's it for the amusement park. Oh, we're actually at a point where I've choked off the energy. <laughs> nice. Guess that's what happens when you speed up a machine that's very energy costly. Let me just go investigate our power situation downstairs, main power. I assume this is in the power main, yeah. All right, let me just go investigate the power situation. I should automate the extraction of these ingots, but I haven't yet, so shame on me. So we just got another octuple compressed cookie. Oh? Just like by crafting. Nice. So let's see. The Tormented and Fright Night. We haven't done Fright Night. That's a sextuple. Um, you can do that if you want. Sure, I'll grab sure. one. I'll grab. Wow, I am not producing quite enough power at this point. Probably because we have everything running on, like, ridiculous speed. Or ludicrous speed, if you will. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho. But yeah, 10,000 RF a tick is not enough to operate the machines that we have going on upstairs. I guess it's time so, to time fully to... operate that reactor. Um, I already did. We could add things to it, but how are we doing in cookie production over here? Well, let's see. Did you just take cookies? No, I made an octuple. Oh, okay. 
So we have one octuple of the 50 we need thus far? We have three. Oh, really? Well, that's kind of good news. Um, were two ones that we already had? Yep. Like, how many was in that chest? One, right? Uh, we found four in that chest. I see. No, in the chest over here. Oh, in the chest over there, there was ten septuple, so I made one octuple. Okay. That's, uh, that's still pretty slow. We're definitely going to want to look at that um, mod that's kind of broken that we can make quad, we can make, I think, triple compressed from. But we'll see. Um, I'm not even sure what we're going to do. Uh, so Ooh, Ender Slaughter, killing night. task. Enderman, kill a thousand Endermen. I mean, that's doable. It's just tedious. Got a book. Let's see. Welcome to Fright Night. Recommendations. Don't upset Pigmen. Be prepared with potions, strong armor, strong weapons, and plenty of hearts. Have fun. Yes. And some splash Have fun indeed. of swiftness. So it's kind of like a grassland. Right. I want to see if getting rid of that helps. Oh, are there? Is there a wither in there? Is there? I see uh, the wither boss monster thingy. I don't. Did you turn on your spawner? No, my spawner doesn't work like that. Oh, I see it now. Yes. There's an LOL spelt in rose bushes and a skystone chest. Nice. I'm going to come help. Ooh, gold orberry or bush, cooked pork chops, dense ye yellow right ore, dense gold, and five golden apples. Uh, I got a whole bunch of gold. Uh, I believe there's spawners here somewhere, Pahamar. I would not be surprised. Because I just saw a bunch of creepers show up out of nowhere. You know what I would be all for? What would you all be for? Plating a fire. That would be cheating. How would that be cheating? Because it would be. I thought in this map there was no cheating. Well, you gotta listen to some of the rules. I can remember what, that there one like... said... Okay, there's a lot of mobs. Um, you can burn this place to the ground. Okay. <laughs> I like how quickly you changed your opinion on that. Well, I found witch spawners, and they're really annoying. And there's skeletons that shoot explosive arrows, and they're also really annoying. Fair enough. Look out, incoming Forbes. Oh, you got a Florbit? Yeah, I am. What's up? All right, we'll see how that worked out for us. <laughs> That's fun. You're like the floors. craziest arsonist. Oh, blazing pyrothium florbs. Yes, please. Never mind, Pahamar, I have something better. Have you ever seen blazing pyrothium? Yeah. Like, in the world? Yeah, we had it in, like, Crash Landing. Yeah. So many chests of stuff. All right, my work is probably done here. <laughs> I hope placing pyrothium can be teleported.
This is oh, kind of fun. Grief. What? I just saw like a wave of like things burning. Yeah. Hey, if you give me a dimension full of enemies and trees, I kind of came up with a pretty good idea. Yeah, Guys, this just is remember out pretty not well to invite not to invite Dyer to your latest bonfire. Stuff will get a little cray. Yep. How do you like my uh, my progress? Oh goodness! Oh, there's a wooden house though. Well, that's uh, something you're gonna probably want to explore pretty quickly then. I actually did go out of my way to keep the pyrothium and everything away from that. Did you just tick off the zombie pigman? Uh, maybe. The way I understand it, though, is if I kill them all, then they won't be able to spread their hate. Dyer, who's the real <laughs> hater now? This was actually quite a good idea. Thank you very much. Well, I found a chest with a whole bunch of stuff in it. Yeah, I'm looting the chests that have been uh, exposed as a result of your pyrotechnics. Hey, I kind of feel like this was a really good solution to this age. Go ahead. I dare you to tell me I'm wrong about that. Oh, I could tell you. I would probably be wrong, but... Yeah, you'd be lying 100% about me being wrong, because I am 100% right about how good a plan this was. I mean, had I known that I had Blazing Pyrothium, that would have been my first choice, but... You know, I just remembered that I had lava, and then... Then one thing led to another. <laughs> And next thing you know, you're burning down the world in a substance that will never be quenched. Correct. I mean, it might be quenched. I can pick it up in a bucket. Shouldn't That's not the same as quenching. That's not how that word works. Yeah. La 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 la. Burning down everything. <laughs> you can tell I'm a little bit proud of this. A little bit. You're singing Christmas carols. But look how perfect it worked. Like, everything is gone. We literally cleared out the entire room. Like, come on. Seriously. That was I know, cool. I know. <laughs> Blazing pyrothium is the best. All right, should we explore the house now? Yeah, because I'm just about done looting all the chests that I can find. All right, I'm clearing it out because it's full of bad guys. With blazing pyrothium? Yes. Ooh, Microsoft carpet. That's neat. No, I'm not using blazing pyrothium. It's actually like carpeted flooring, so I'd rather not blazing pyrothium this place if I can avoid it. Oh, I just died almost. From... Uh, things that attacked that you me? Off? Yeah, pretty much. Luckily I had an item in my inventory that refills my health if I die. Well, I see what happened. One of my armor pieces wore off. Time to make more armor, Pahamar. Would you like some Tartarite armor? Mm. I'm gonna go put away all my inventory because it's full and probably make more armor. Exomite was pretty good. What was that stuff we were using before? Adamantite? No, I think we were using Tartarite. You're correct. Oh, hey. Um, there's actually cocoa beans in here. I'll go with Adamantite. That sounds cool.
I wouldn't mind a quick enchantment. Oot. This is an interesting room. Yeah. Is there like interesting stuff in there for real? It's just a, a weird layout. Yeah. And like oodles of monsters. Right. I'll enchant my gear later. I'm gonna come see. The pigmen are not happy with me. The pigmen regret not being happy with me. Where are you? I thought you were in the basement. I am in the basement. Why are there so many bad guys? Because there's a dark undergrowth area. I mean like the first floor of the basement. There's a second floor. Alright, well the very first basement is not doing well. There's mushrooms down here. That's nice. Oh, I see a little bit of our fire has spread. Yeah, this house is burning down. Nice. You know what it is? I bet there's spawners in here. No. Uh, vibrant alloy blocks. Well, that's cool. I'll take these things. These things are all very useful. I would never have guessed that there were spawners in there. Yeah, well, you should have because there were. The good news is I killed all the zombie pigmen that were mad at me, so they're no longer telling their friends to be mad at me. I lied! They hate me again! Why do you lie to me? I don't know. Um, wow, yeah, there chest. is a very serious undergrowth area down there, isn't there? Yeah, wow. Oh, wow, this place is huge. I did not expect all of this. Is it Florb 2.0 time? I don't know. But you'll tell me when it is, right? I will. Right now I'm trying to get a shortcut up. Okay. Okay, shortcut. And thankfully there wasn't a floor right above me. Hooray, I too have a shortcut. Yeah, this place is neat. Should we come back in a minute? Yeah, let's come back in a minute. Okay. Oh, Pahamar, I think it's time to wrap up the episode. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, it's been a long one. Yeah. I'm up to 7,000 ink. Woot. We might be even done our sugar. Uh, that's possible. Uh, let's see. I'm going to check the sugar. I want to say we're probably not done, but we're probably close. Uh, we are at 87% on the sugar. Considering we started at what? Like 20? Yeah. That's pretty good, I'll say. I'd say. Yeah. Um, so let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back ne next episode. We'll hand in sugar. We'll hand in, um, you know, everything else that we're going to hand in. And then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do whatever from there. Sounds good. So for now, Daryl20 and Pahimar wrapping up the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will be back next time to do some more stuff. And I'm taking a look. And we're still definitely using a lot of power, by the way. So we're going to have to mitigate that a bit. Okay. All right, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.